So to wisely regulate the use of social media of employees in a company, there should be clear rules of how to use it. And um, since um, social media has become very essential part of our daily work, and while using social media, there are many um, underlying threats towards people's privacy, and um, that may become a danger towards our, our company. So um, since a good social networking could provide as a advertisement of our organization that uh, could help employees to uh, communicate with their customers and or to make our company's reputation become famous in the market and also to communicate wisely with um, their co-workers may help them finish the task with a high quality and also we may um, permit our employees to use their social media during work since our employees join our organization not only because they want to earn money but also they believe our company and thus they join in our company so we want to give them the freedom to um, use to wisely use the social media and also social networking may help um, employees to have a good relationship with their co-workers also um, they could easily communicate with their customers that would um, make our company to have a high productivity throughout the year also we want we really care about the feelings of our employees so there's no need to monitor um, their movements online, but um, we do want to pay attention to the opinions and ideas that our employees shared uh, through their social media accounts. And since that may cause bad, that if somebody shares bad, uh, I by bad opinions of our organizations, that may influence our um, reputation of the organizations through the market. So we want leave a good impression um, of the public. In my opinion, I strongly encourage the use of social media in your work because in the advanced technology society, social media becomes an important part of working well. I will allow employees to identify my business networking online. In the information age, I pay much attention to social media and networking, marketing, and public press online which social media takes. In this way, managing employees becomes important. Instead of prohibiting employees to announce a company online, I prefer teaching them what can be announced online. For example, posting positive activities on employees' social media page is a good promotion method in her inherent area. In other words, we need to avoid employees posting negative portraits by teaching and punishment. Therefore, I can build a positive image for my company by employing social media. Then, we are supposed to firstly divide classes of posts on social media to public, close friends, and private. Employees should know what kinds of exp expressions should be put into what kinds of classes. Interesting things happen in the company can be posted to the public. Bad things about company should be posted to close friends. But every employee cannot put privacy of company online, including private version. Appropriate business behavior is like what I mentioned above. Employees need to clarify what benefits our company and what is harmful. Simply, employees can keep in touch with important customers on the social media and follow their new updates closely because these activities are useful for our company. Finally, I think we should not only promote the use of social media in the company, but also strengthen the regulation of use of social media. While new employees are in the training, they should be taught a new course of social media such as what can be posted online, what cannot, and why. At the same time, there are supposed to be supervisors to monitor employees' social media and information website. Because the speed of the network is spreading very fast, stopping the generation of bad news is better for us.